Hello, my name is Ethan Renteria, and I've always wondered, what are dreams, why do we have them? Well, I'm going to tell you why we have them. I recently researched why we have dreams, and the study of dreams is called Orionology. For almost all of life, um, it's never really existed, because you can't hold a dream, you can't grasp it, you can't explain it really. And if you ask somebody, like, what did you dream about, they'll tell you something completely bizarre, or maybe they won't even tell you what the dream that they had was because they can't remember. Which is why I've wanted to learn about dreaming because it's super fascinating and in my future I feel as if that if I'm having these dreams I can maybe pinpoint them and see why I am having them. It's estimated that we forget our dreams about 95% of the time. Even if we don't forget these dreams, they're very vague and most of the time do you remember some part of your dream and you don't. This is a bizarre type of electrical activity that happens during certain stages of people sleeping. When the researcher actually woke up the person that they were researching on, they would say that they were having these dreams. Also, at the same time, their eyes were closed, and while they were closed and having these dreams, their eyes were darting everywhere. If you look at the electrical activity of the brain while we sleep, it's almost the exact same as when we're awake. The only difference is that our brain isn't making chemicals in our sleep that we do when we're awake. These chemicals are called norepinephrine, serotonin, and histamine. These are blocked as we sleep, which prevent us from moving, which is why we can have dreams about walking or flying or whatever we're doing in our dreams and we still don't move. However, people with sleeping disorders cannot control these things, which is why they sleepwalk or do things in their sleep that they normally wouldn't do. There are a ton of theories on why we dream, and researchers are still not 100% sure why. But they do believe that when we dream at night, let's say the day before you do something pretty hard, like learning an instrument or something like a puzzle. While we sleep at night, our conscious mind is actually organizing these thoughts. For example, it gets rid of the stuff we don't need and keeps the stuff that we do need for the future. So the theory goes that as these electrical impulses get sent to our conscious mind, it sends a message to the cortex and the cortex freaks out and makes up this cohesive story in our brain, creating a dream. So dreams aren't really supposed to mean anything. They aren't supposed to make sense. It's just our cortex trying to do something about the conscious mind being so noisy. So dreams are just an accidental result as a more important process is happening, which is your brain is just trying to organize thoughts and trying to get rid of all the junk and keep all the stuff that we need for the future. So I hope you learned something new today about dreams, even if we don't know 100% about them, we still have an idea of what they mean. And think about it like this, we know more about space than we do about our mind when we sleep. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.